All right, we're flimming here. Anyway, here we are. We've got all the likely suspects that I uh, mentioned in the post to a site at overunity.com. And uh, we're talking about bending, you know, this, this little thingy together. And I thought, you know, it might be fun. Somebody suggested this type of gate array, and it's pretty cool. As you'll see, it's just magnets laying on their edge. We're doing that all the way around. All different types. Circular. We got uh, rectangular. We got uh, all different types and sizes. As you'll see, that one is short. And that one is short. Sorry, just didn't have enough. Right next to that one, you'll see... A piece of guitar string that I mentioned. Which, there you go, it's a piece of guitar string. We've got the bamboo skewer, we've got the paneling nail, we've got the cutting board with the centered marks from the CD motor install, and we've got two uh, cylindrical magnets that are of a, a nicer grade. They're, they're going to be a little more powerful than, than the ones here on the sides, but uh, I wanted to show you something. Just a minute. Alrighty then. Whenever you're doing something like this, you need fortification. Now, this isn't real Guinness, but it's close enough. It, it's, it's a good beer. It's just what I have at the moment. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the thing. Uh, as you'll see, get a nice little notched effect going over things. But uh, if I get up here, I can get right at right there, still be within the attract effect, and I let go, it makes it almost all the way to there, which is cool, because here, I forgot which polarity was supposed to go out, and I screwed up, and polarities are just not the same right here at this 630 to 7 mark, if you watch what I do, it shifts up and into the hub, can't do anything about that, sorry. I used one-way tape or uh, two-sided tape all the way around, and it's a one-time only deal. You know, it's a uh, one-trick pony. That's one trick is all that horse will do. But anyway, if I pull this back to about here for the attract, I get at least six each time, maybe 6.30, but it's going to hit that 7 o'clock wall and just bounce. See, okay, 6.15, somewhere in there. But, this is not the cool thing. The cool thing is everybody's been doing straights. Everybody's been doing things on arms. But, if you have this thing horizontal, let's slip, shift these bad boys off. Ooh, they like that box of magnets. Move this guy out of the way. Bring him back. And let's just set him here. Now this is kind of fun. It follows the track it stays within it. The weight of the magnet doesn't pull it off. Look at that. Now, it's catching here because that's a shorty. That's the, the shorter array. Here and here are the two short ones, and I, I should have put it together better, but I was busy. And I was trying to figure out what magnets I could use to make a complete array. But I thought it was rather interesting that, as well as pulling it around, it keeps it in track. It's just circular. I believe these guys are, yeah, they're actually magnetized cylinder magnets. But, as it's been said, uh, we need a more powerful magnet than these guys. These can be nice and weak, more powerful than mo mover, motor, car, vehicle, whatever you want to call it. The more we get out of this. So, pause please while I go and get me some biggest one. Now, we have these guys. They're a little bit more hefty. Holes a lot smaller. The thing I'm wondering though is, I think I might have, although they look axial, axially uh, magnetized, I might have gotten these radially magnetized, which means one half north, one half south instead of each face. So, shucks, I lost the keeper. Anyway, it's probably some, yeah, right here in the bed. Anyway, I wanted to see what would happen if we put this bad boy on our arm. I really don't trust it all by itself right now. Oh yeah, that's in there. Let's see what it would do. Oh, about a six. 
As you can see there's some definite tension in there. It's bending the bamboo. Let's try it this way. Nine. It'd probably help if my Marinic arrays were longer, uh, and if I were sure exactly which way this was uh, magnetized. That's a lot of weight there, comparative to the, the other two. But as you can see, there's still something going on there. I'm just using the, the attract effect to the bottom. I'm not using gravity at all. That's not bad. I bet I lengthened that one, and I lengthened this one, so I got a better kick. I'd at least get to 9 or 11-ish, you know, the midnight hour, maybe even. Never know. Gotta give it a try. Oh, I've slipped off my centaur. There we go. One more time for the kids at home. Nine o'clock. All right. Well, that's enough for right now. We'll play a little more later on see what goes on. Talk to you then.